guys, I'm Nick, aka the Roy Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install too many items in Minecraft 1.7.10. First off, you want to go to here, which is minecraftform.net slash form slash, it doesn't matter, because it's the first link in the description. Go there, check this link out, and uh, it'll take you to this page. Once you're here, you want to scroll down until you see downloads, and then find 1.7.10 non-forge version, right there. Click that. It will then take you off to AdFly. If you have any issues with AdFly, try to refresh. If that doesn't work, enable cookies. That should fix it for you. If that doesn't work, I honestly don't know. AdFly is a service that all these mod users use to make money, thus be able to make their mods. But uh, it is a little buggy at times. There's nothing I can do about that. Nevertheless, go ahead and click Skip Ad. It will automatically download it right down here. Once you have it downloaded, it's either going to be on your desktop right here or in your Downloads folder. To find it in your Downloads folder, go over here to the Windows button and type guess what downloads and boom there it is it'll be right here if it's not on your desktop it's on my desktop though so uh, we don't need this nevertheless once you've got and found where the mod is at you do need WinRAR for this tutorial and I'm going to go ahead and mention that now that is the second link in the description under the too many items mod Nevertheless, so once you've got the mod downloaded, you want to hit the Windows key on your keyboard and hit R. At the same time, it'll open up the Run program. You want to type percent app data percent and hit Enter. It will then open up Roaming. You want to go into dot Minecraft and then you want to go into Versions. You should have a 1.7.10 version here. What this is is the actual standard Minecraft 1.7.10. If you don't have this, go launch just regular Minecraft 1.7.10. No mods. Come back and it will be there. Nevertheless, once you're here and you've got this, you want to right click on it, copy it, right click again, and paste. That'll give you 1.7.10 dash copy. We don't want that though. So let's right click on it again and rename it 1.7.10 dash TMI for too many items. Then we want to take our mouse, scroll over all that, highlight it, right click, copy that, and then boom, there you go. Now you want to go into this folder, the 1.7.10 TMI, and then you want to rename both of these. So right click on them, rename, and then right click again, and then click paste. Do that again for 1.7.10.josn file right here. Right click on that, rename, right click again, paste. Right, if I can find it, it's not there. Hold on, right click again, paste. There we go. Enter. And then you want to double click on this JSON file. It'll open it up in Notepad. If it doesn't, just select it to open it up in Notepad. And then you want to go up here to ID, and in this parentheses, you want to highlight this 1.7.10, right click again, and paste again. Now go File, Save, and boom. You're done with pretty much what is the hard part. Now you simply want to right click on this, the executable jar file, right click on it, and then you want to open with WinRAR Archiver. It'll open up WinRAR, and uh, now we need to open up the mod in WinRAR. This too many items mod over here. So we want to double click that, it'll open up this, right? And then we can simply drag all this, right? Highlight all of this in here, all but this first one. Highlight everything, and drag it over into here. Click OK, and bada bing bada boom, there you go. Now you want to right click on MetaInf, delete files, right, right here, and then click Yes. It'll go through, delete all those files. Now we can close out of everything, and I'll meet you guys in the Minecraft Launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft Launcher, choosing to play Minecraft 1.7.10 with too many items is very, very easy. Simply go to the profile you want to play. In my case, that's Dead Buddha right down here. Hit Edit Profile. It'll open up this. Scroll down to Use Version right here. Click that and find 1.7.10-TMI. Click that, click Save Profile, click Play, and you are now launching too many items, as you can see in Minecraft 1.7.10 right there. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, we can simply hit single player and then go into any world we want to play. In my case, I'm just going to show you guys this in a survival world just to test it out here. Right here we are, hit E, and as you can see, there is too many items. We can change the creative, all that stuff right here. Nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. I am Nix Games, and I am out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. I'm left is Crisis Craft episode 30. That is an amazing episode of my weekly Minecraft Let's Play series, Crisis Craft. In that episode, we build one of the best mob spawners in Minecraft history. Not really, it's just a normal mob spawner, but go check it out nevertheless. And on the right is how to install the X ray mod in Minecraft 1.7.10. That mod allows you to see through walls and find tons of resources, so go check it out. It will really help you 
maximize your resource gathering in Minecraft. Also, check out my daily vlogs in the bomb center of your screen to see what I'm doing every single day of my life. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I am out. Peace.